last lesson I showed you how that with a major chord when you look at the notes where your one and your three is of those major chords on your root chord that's right there or you, and then your four and your five and then back to one so if I, somebody was playing a progression a C Big old fat finger don't want to make let me make my chords. If you was picking over that or just noodling over that, just a very elementary, very uh, simple progression, uh, one four five progression. You start on your one, and then when it switches to four, you just drop down to your four. and then back to the one. I know it's very simple but I just want you to get the understanding of it. You can play any note you want to on the entire neck. It don't really matter as long as you can get back to your tonal center. What your ear kind of wants to lean to. Now I want to show you, I mentioned that a triad is made up of three notes and it's made of the first, the third, and the fifth. Wherever you start, basically you're going to take your root note, whatever that note is, you're going to skip a note, you're going to go to the third note, then you're going to skip a note, and then you're going to go to the fifth note. Major, minor, it don't really matter. You're going to have your one, three, and five. According to the way the scale is set up, your minors are always going to be flatted and your majors are always going to be major. We've looked at the one and the three, how to find that. You start there, that's your one and your three. Your five, I'm going to show you how at least three different ways, I won't say three different ways, maybe four, I can't remember now, of how to make this, to find these notes, the one, three, and the five. We're going to start here on the one. That's my C. I know the one above it is a five. I know the one below it is a four. So if I back up a half step, that's my three. So I got a three, a one, and a five. So anywhere I make that shape, if I was right here, that was my root, that's an E. I can make that E, since that's an open chord. I can make that, that's a shape. You're gonna need that shape when you go to making bar cards. But for right now, I just want you to know where they are in relationship to your one. Here's your one, your five's above it, and your three is right there diagonally to it. Also, you could go, there's your one, there's your three. Since you already learned that, if you go four, five, you could know that's another way to find your one, three, and five. One, Three, five. One, three, five. Another way is if you start right here on your one. I'm showing you everything in relationship to this one, this your root note. One, three, five. If I was playing right here. Let me look at them again. There's your one, your five's above it, third diagonal. There's your one, your third diagonal, you go up three, there's your five. Start at your one, you go to your third, or your major third, that's your three, and then right there below your two is your five. There's your two, there's your five. Your one is directly below the five. If you watched the previous videos, you know that already. That's for your majors or your major chords. Works for any of them. You get one, you four, you five. Don't matter as long as it's a major chord.